So, in November, we came here to voice our concerns and to thank Ann Carey for pulling a handful of leases from the BLM auction to allow time to study the issue of shale drilling um, on the public parcels of forest. Um, the PR arm of the shale drilling industry went on the attack, blasting the decision for what could be wrong with extracting this wonderful, clean, all-American, God-sent energy. Um, and that was November. Then December, we've got the U.S. Department of Energy reported that the levels of greenhouse gases are higher than the worst-case scenario anticipated just four years ago. Uh, industry supporters are now putting up billboards equating those who believe in the science of global warming to sociopath Ted Kaczynski. Okay, so then we get New Year's Eve. Does anybody remember what happened on New Year's Eve related to fracking? Yes. Oh, yeah. Earthquake, which was connected to the injection of uh, disposal water from fracking, it triggered an earthquake in Youngstown. This was ridiculed and denied by the PR arm of the industry. Eventually followed by, of course, oh, that's just part of the process. Now we come to February. Oops, still January. There was a poll. 72% of Ohioans polled want shale drilling stopped until studies can be completed on health and safety impacts. Energy Agency's report projected that at current fossil fuel use will surpass the level of global warming safety in five years. That was announced in January. The American Lung Association issued a statement that there is real and unacceptable risk to that air emissions will make people sick and shorten the lives of those living in communities where shale oil and gas extraction will take place. February, Ohio's top law enforcer, Attorney General Mike DeWine, stated that laws, Ohio's laws are simply not adequate to make sure the land and the public are protected. A federal investigation revealed that the extent of drilling violations on public land, including Ohio, uh, that there was an extent of violations and that only 6% of these violations have been punished by fines. In March, the US EPA reported that the groundwater for the city of Poplar, Montana had been polluted for years with migrating underground frack water. The city of 3000 has to find a new source of drinking water. The companies are still operating there. And what does the, the public relations arm of the industry say about contamination? Has it ever happened? No. Okay, so now we're in April. Chesapeake Energy uh, has been exposed as a massively undercapitalized. Uh, and it's selling off the U.S. leases, including those in Columbiana County, Ohio, to China and France. So what happened to that all-American gas? April, Germany bans fracking. Vermont bans fracking. Okay, now we're into May. A mortgage company denied mortgage to a Pennsylvania couple whose neighbors have shale drilling. The lender says that the well significantly degrades a property's value. A methane study released last week on NPR repeat, reported that twice as much greenhouse gases um, have been released than industry has admitted, which increases global warming. Um, the U.S. Forest Service last week reported having to change its policies due to global warming's effect on the trees in the forest. And last, Ohio legislators just a few days ago passed a gag order, one, one uh, arm of the legislation, on medical professionals that will prevent them from sharing their concerns with health, health departments and first responders. If somebody gets sick from chemicals involved in fracking, the doctors are not allowed to reveal what those chemicals are. It's a trade secret. Okay, so that's where we've been. That's